So as we have seen, everything is a tag in HTML. So let us try to understand some terminologies, some words that we use in our web development world. Now let us take an example of this div tag. Now you see various things. This is your open tag. This is the div tag. From here till here it is div open tag. And this is the content. Then you have close tag. Now you also see some id equals to my div. Now what is this? This is inside the tag or angle bracket. What is that? This is nothing but your attribute. I call it as attribute. So I can have multiple attributes in for a single tag. So here we have an attribute id and its value is my div. So id is key my div is value so key value pair will make an attribute and this complete thing is your html element so everything is a tag in html html instructions are called as tags so my i, I can say my code is tag in simple words if i say i'm coding in html means i am writing tags basically tags can be classified into two categories one is a container tag that means a type of tag which has open and close tags so we have seen html open and close head open and close body open and close title open and close so that is your container tag example title empty tags that does not have closing part only single like br we have seen just now break tags new line so HTML instruction plus text to which the instruction apply is an HTML element. So just now we have seen that. Attributes, a key value pair inside the tag which define some features of text are called as attributes. So just now we have seen ID that is the identity of div. So I want to identify that div. So I can say my div some important attributes of body tag. So every tag will have these attributes. So body tags will have few attributes which are very important like background color background properties whether it is fixed or scrolling or you can say float floating so background properties and background image I can have an image to my page background text color I can define in body what should be the text color of the body so in body if I write any text what should be its color Core attributes of other tags inside body are ID, name, value and classes. So these are few attributes of body tag and these are the attributes of some tags that may come inside the body. And what are the tags inside the body and when should I use what tag? We will see all these things in future lectures. But do remember there are a lot of attributes whereas these are the major and important attributes that we most probably use now let us see a demo for attribute of body tag i'll right click and say view page inspector and i'll simply auto hide this now here you have body i can say bg color c o l o r bg color equals to red i will save this and refresh this you see that the background color is now red in the same way I can say text equals to white save this and refresh this now you should see the text color as white so these are all your body tag attribute. I can use image as background. Background equals to URL of the image. Now what I will do in this project, I will add image first, then I'll give URL over here. 
So how do I add image? Select the project, right click, add. This time I will say existing item. I'll browse for an image. I'll select this Visual Studio image. I'll say add. Now I got this image. Name of the image is yqtqq.png. So I'll just say y q t q q dot png i will save this and refresh this now you see background image over here now i'll run this you see visual studio as background image stop this so that's it these are all your body attributes that's it for this video. Thank you very much.